Hey guys, what's up? Today we will create a game called Pong using Python and we will also be having a time constraint. We will make it as quickly as possible like we always do. So let's get going. Alright, so before we jump into our IDE, let's just go through on what we are going to use. We will use this Python library called Turtle. It's a nice library that we use for basic graphical stuff. And I do recommend you guys Google it and check out some of the classes and the methods. It will definitely help you guys understand the code better. I guess that is pretty much all the prerequisite you're going to need. So let's jump into our IDE. All right, so we're going to import our turtle module. Now we need a screen to run a game on. So we will define wind is equal to turtle.screen. Screen is a class defined inside a turtle module and we just created an object called wind and we are going to give it some properties now. First let's give it a background, I'm going to go with green and we are going to set it up by giving the dimensions, let's do 800 width and 600 height. We will also do wind.tracer0, we can alter the pace of our game using it, we set it to 0 for maximum speed but feel free to play around with the values. Let's run and see what we have. It exits immediately, so we will run a loop to keep it up. Uh, while true, win.update. All right. Now we need the bars that will bounce off the ball. We will define bar A is equal to turtle dot turtle. Bar A is our object from the turtle class, and it's time to give it some properties. I'm gonna first give it the square shape and color white. We can have a square as a pedal. So we're gonna do bar a dot shape size, stretch width five, it'll increase the width five times and we'll do stretch length one. And bar a dot go to, we give the coordinates where we want it to be, minus 350 comma zero. I'm gonna run it and see what we have. Okay, great. We need our bar b to be the same. So we will just copy and paste it and replace a with b and it's plus 350. Let's check and okay. We don't want that line, so we will just add this bar underscore a dot pen up and we'll do same with bar b. Let's check. Okay, we got rid of the lines. Now let's make the ball. It's pretty similar to how we made the bar, so I'm just gonna copy and paste these properties. Okay, but here we will add ball underscore x. It's basically for the motion of the ball in x coordinate. You can try different values, whatever suits your PC. And ball underscore y. All right, now we want to be able to move the bars. So we will define a function bar underscore a underscore up. y is equal to bar underscore a dot y coordinate y increment 20 y bar underscore a dot set y to y what this will do is whenever we call this function the y coordinate of the bar will increase by 20. we'll do the same for down and then for the bar b as well okay so now we need to bind the keys which will execute these functions. So since wind is object of the class turtle, we have the on key press method. So we will do win.listen first, and now win.on key press, the function and the key, we will do it for all four of our functions. Let's see if it works and the bars are moving. Okay, congrats on making it this far. It looks a bit tricky, but I hope you are still with me. Now we will try to add movement to a ball as well. So inside our while statement, ball.setx, this will set the new coordinate x of the ball, render it moving, so the old coordinate plus. Remember we defined ball underscore x uh, for movement of the ball, it's time to use that. We will add ball underscore x to its coordinate and we will do same with the y coordinate. Let's see if our ball moves. And there, the ball is moving. 
it moved out of our screen. So we need to have borders on up and down side of the screen. We will do if the Y coordinate of the ball is greater than 290, 290 because the height of our screen is 600, 300 on the top, 300 on the bottom side, then just reverse the Y speed of the ball. All right. Now we need our bars to collide with the wall. So just like we did in the borders section, we'll use the if statement and we will throw in these coordinates. The conditions are pretty self-explanatory, I guess. Still, if you have any doubt, just let me know in the comment section and I will try my best to explain it. Let's check if the collision works. There we go. Now the final thing we want is to have a scoreboard that keeps track of the scores. So we will quickly define it. S board is equal to turtle dot turtle, S board dot shape square, S board dot color white. Same as what we did earlier. So I'm just gonna quickly do it. Now initially we want to say player A zero, player B zero. Uh, let's align its center and we also need to give uh, in the font, font styling so it doesn't look hideous let's see pretty okay we don't need that square box so let's just do s board dot height turtle there okay now we just need to update the scoreboard every time a bar misses a hit in our while statement, we will add another if statement saying if x coordinate of the ball surpasses 350 in the positive direction, then increment score a by 1. Obviously, we need to define the variable score a first. We will do that in a while. Want to clear our scoreboard and do sboard.write. We use this dot format to replace our curly brackets with the variables and again align center and the font styling. After the mess, we want the ball to come back to the center and go to the opposite direction and we will do all of this for B, player B as well. And up here, we will define underscore underscore A and score underscore B equals zero. Let's run it. Okay, so the game seems to be working pretty well. So that was it you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And you know, do your thing down there, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you wanna do. It's all greatly appreciated. And if you guys stick around, I'll see you in the next one.